Hello YouTube, more specifically, hello bronies, because this one's for you. Have you ever wondered how big or small our equine friends are? Of course you have. We all want to know whether we're talking ponies that are small enough to hide in your palm, perfect hugging size, or whether they're the size of actual horses. Fortunately, we can answer this question with science! First off, there are five different ways the show has, well, shown us how big the ponies are. First, uh, my own contribution. My own analysis of the candy cane from Hearth Swarming Eve. I have an idea. Let's play I Spy with my little eyes we walk. I'll go first. I spy... an eight-foot candy cane. I wasn't the first to come up with the idea of using the candy cane, but I find my own analysis here to be the most satisfactory that I've seen. So, we measure the candy cane and get Scootaloo's height, uh, find a picture of Scoots, standing at the same distance from the camera as an adult pony. You see their feet line up, so they're standing at the same distance. And bam! We have a pony's height! 3 foot 6 inches, or 107 centimeters, give or take a bit. But we're not done yet. It certainly makes a case, but it's still assuming they mean the same foot that we do, that what they call a foot is the same distance that we call a foot. And it's only one data point, and we have four more to explore. Other curious ponies have used other methods to try to determine how tall our ponies are. The most popular I've seen is apple theory, used by measuring Applejack compared to her apples, and using the average size of apples to find AJ's size. This method yields about 3 foot 4 inches, or 102 centimeters. Not much to say about this one, just pause and read the text. It's pretty straightforward and rather sound, in my opinion. Another method that I particularly like is using the standard door frame sizes from Equestria Girls. An average door frame in the US, using US standards since the show is produced in North America, is 81 inches, well, according to this infographic, and that gives us 5 foot 6 inches uh, for Twilight Sparkle, or Human Twilight Sparkle. That's 166 centimeters. We then say she's about the same height as Human Chai, and we use Angel as a common measuring rod. Assuming this bunny is the same size in both worlds, something I'd consider a fairly safe assumption. And bam! We get a pony's height at 3 foot 2 inches, or 97 centimeters. The original infographic went on to review Apple Theory, then go into more detail on the results, but suffice it to say, it's within a few inches of what we got from methods 1 and 2. Another less cited method is the butterfly method. It's nothing more than a picture I found, and I'm taking it on faith that the original creator did a good comparison, but by using this method, we get ponies that are 3 foot 9 inches, or 115 centimeters. And finally, the data scatter. This is my least favorite, because it makes ponies too small to cuddle- I mean, it doesn't fit in with the rest of the data like, well, the rest of the data does. Yep, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Anyways, this one is based off of this bit right here. Based off of the size of a 20 carat gem in real life, this draws the conclusion that ponies are small enough to fit in your palm. This is, however, no offense to whoever put in the fine effort of realizing and making this, a data scatter. But we'll come back to this one later. Now, on my Ask Science Pony Tumblr, I went even more in depth about the accuracy of each measurement method, but suffice it to say here, GREAT WICKERING STALLIONS! All the data here matches! Look at this! Their spread is less than their error. All of the minimum lines, in red, are below the maximum lines, in green. In other words, this data is really solid. With the exception of the single scatter, it's all consistent. Whether consciously or subconsciously, I'm sure the creators of the show have in mind that the ponies are on 3 foot 2 inches or 97 centimeters. Otherwise, our data would be all over the place instead of nicely centered around this line here. So there you have it, ponies are overwhelmingly, almost certainly, 3 foot 2 inches or 97 centimeters. I'd bet money on them being within 10 inches of that, and I'm not a betting pony, because it's not really a gamble at all, I'd take it as fact. The evidence is overwhelming, except for that one scatter, but I think I actually have an explanation for this one. You see, ponies used to live in a land distant from Equestria, and migrated here during the events that started to the tradition that we now call Hearth Swarming Eve. They came to this new utopian land rich in gems. As a result, gem prices plummeted. Ponies refused to buy hoof-sized diamonds for fortunes anymore when there's a bunch lying around, so sellers had to lower their prices. 
and finally they all simply decided to change their standard of a carrot so that they all lowered their prices together. And so we get the modern standard of carrot being a far more massive portion. Thus when Rarity says 20 carats, she's referring to a much larger gem. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. Four different methods, all of the data except for one explainable scatter pointing to such a narrow range provides an overwhelming and I dare say conclusive argument. Ponies are an excellent huggable size indeed. Thanks for watching, and leave any questions in the comments. I will answer, especially if you drop an ask on my Tumblr blog, linked in the description. And subscribe to stay notified for future video updates. Next one is How Powerful is Twilight Sparkle? Can she stop bullets? Find out next time. See you then.